So after conquering the jujitsu world for 10 years plus, being considered the greatest, if not the greatest of all time, um, one of them for sure. What made you transition into MMA? Why did you go to one? Why did you decide that you wanted to now throw hands and bring in other sports of mixed martial arts? Yeah, that was like a question that everybody asked me, still ask me, because I started in a new sport, 30 years old, and that's not young, right? To start something new. But I, I won everything, and I, I got 13 world titles, I did what nobody ever done, so wouldn't make difference in my life to win 14, 15, like would be just my own ego. So I don't have the motivation to go to the gym, to put my gear on and to train, to win one more world title. For me, that makes no sense anymore. I, that's a chapter that I, I pass in my life. So now it's time to do something new, but you know, a lot of people ask me, oh, when are you gonna retire? But then if I retire, then I will have to work, right? <laughs> so for me, that's not work, like, because it's something that I love. It's like a passion. Uh, sports is something that I, I'm going to do uh, as long as I can, like, healthy, I'm going to keep doing it. So I was still, I still young, so you know what? It's time for something new. I, don't, I, I really want to compete. But not jiu-jitsu anymore. So it was time for something new. And MMA, I always had this in the back of my head. For me, a real fighter, it's the one that I like to test, test himself, you know? Like, I fought in the gi, I fought no gi, and I, wanna like, and I want to fight MMA. That's how I always had this in my head. So, you know, like, because it's not like, oh, uh, some people like, it's about like getting out of the comfort zone. For me, no gi and no gi is like my comfort zone. But if I go to MMA, it's something that I'm gonna test the jiu-jitsu in a different situation. Let's see if my jiu-jitsu works in a real like, like fight situation, mm -hmm. let's say, like self-defense. So I always had this in my, my in the mm -hmm. back of my head. I wanna see, I wanna try. Even if I don't follow the MMA career, I'm gonna get in the cage and at least do one fight. But I, I had no idea that I would like so much and I would love so much. That's why I kept going. And that's something that I really enjoy doing. I know I'm not like the youngest one, but I still have a lot of to go. Do you feel that one, uh, you know, was the right move for you? Yeah, hundred percent. Because, you know, nowadays a lot of things is about like talking, about trash talking. And I feel like, Samurai, you know what I mean? I don't like this kind of situation. I don't like the trash talking. So when I saw the way that one championship treat the the athletes as martial artists, I really enjoyed that. So you know what? I, I, I don't need to be like, you know, that, that guy, the clown, the trash talking. So it doesn't really gonna change anything. So it's not me. If I have to do it, so it's gonna be something forcing. So in one championship, I feel like I don't, I don't really need to be a character. So I just need to be myself, go there. Focus close, on your martial art. Yeah, close the door of the cage, do the job, get the job done and go home. 